Hello. You there? You okay? <laughs> oh dear. Welcome to Lee's Reviews again. And again. And again. Lock and subscribe, it's free. So there you go. Anyway, well, how, how are you all doing on a Sunday? 28th of January, 2024. So there you go. Yeah, getting a monkey chilling on Sunday. Easy lock Sunday morning. No, it's not even afternoon, isn't it? So there you go. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, just drop the kids off. <clears throat> yeah, just drop the kids off. So back here on my own now, chilling out. I've got them next weekend though, so because I didn't have them when they're ill. So I have them when I want. And I can. So there you go. Unless I've got other plans with the other family. Which I've explained. So there you are. So right. <clears throat> got me beer here. So. Cheers everyone. I'll call you that grass. Beaver Town. Excuse me. Cheers. Happy Sunday. Good health and happiness to you. Right, just going to do a little sort of <clears throat> crisps and chocolate thing today and that'll be it really, I've got to relax and chill out and um, have my dinner, pie, I've got pie and croquet potatoes and peas, um, and I've got this for like a snack for later on, for a cocktail, these are quite nice these are for a snack. When you had your dinner, and then you just think, a couple of hours later, you think, oh, I want a snack, I have one of them. And they're quite nice, then, from cocktails. So there you are. Right, so, <clears throat> yeah, happy Sunday, anyway. So, anyway, happy Sunday, by the way. I've got these. Lentil chips, flaming hot. Oho. So, I forgot where I got these from, and how much they were. Um... Were they from Heaven Food? They were under a pound anyway. I think they were about 80p or something, but there's a little hand there, look. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, flaming hot. Lentil chips. They're really look, they're low in fat. They're high in protein. Low in only 70% fat. So, they're sort of, yeah, the lentil crisps. So, yeah. As soon as I saw that, I thought I've got to get them flaming hot. So, there you are. Right, let's try them. Yeah, I think they were from Heaven Food, I think, but they were definitely under a pound. So there you are. It's quiet today. It's quiet without... It's quiet without the kids. Mind you, they're, they're good kids anyway. They, you know, they're quiet. They, they're playing the, their um, Xbox and they're playing the um, phones and tablets. And, they're, yeah, they're real good kids. I'm not being biased at all, but they are very good kids. Oh, they smell, they smell like, um, they smell all right, they smell like, I don't know what they, they smell like, so I just had a shave, and it's itching. When I do that, it itches my face, so I do that, so there you go. Yeah, they smell like burn. It's not, not a bad, not a bad sort of smell of burn, but, yeah, all right, anyway, just give them a go, they're, they're weird looking, look. So right, Oho, lentil chips flaming hot. Cheers. They sort of disintegrate in your mouth really, really quickly. They're nice. I'll read the back in a bit, but yeah, they're nice, them. Um. They taste a bit like Watsits. If you're in the UK, you know what Watsits are. Same texture. Yeah, they're quite nice, them. Um. They taste tomato -y. There's a tiny bit of kick there, but they're not flaming hot. 
<laughs> not to me they're not anyway, but there's a nice little kick there. Mmm. Yeah, they're nice them. Flaming hot. Taste red. Flaming hot. Taste red lentil snacks. Red lentil flavour, maize. Sugar, salt, spices. Spices, onion, tomato. I said I could taste tomato, couldn't I? Tomatoes there in the ingredients. That's why I could taste it. So there you go. Uh, spice extract, yeast extract, lemon juice, garlic, herb extract. Yeah. They're nice, them. But well, if you want a diet or something, and you, um, you know, you like your crisps, Get some of these and look that there is a little bit of a kick to that to them yeah but they're very nice them i'm surprised lentil chip flaming hot i mean i got one two three four i got a few chilies there again i, I said before about the chili spice aspect of it some people might eat these and say wow these are really hot some people might not. Like me, for example, I like my spice. Um, but flaming hot, no, not not to me they're not. But obviously to others, to someone else who don't like spice, they could be hot. So, But they're very, very tasty, they are. Really, really nice. Yes, yeah, salt, onion, tomato, spice extract, yeast extract, lemon juice, garlic, and herbs. Yeah, they're very nice, them. Um, rating. I just can't stop eating them. <laughs> mm. Yeah, they're really, really nice they are. I can't fault them. The only thing I, I will say is, to me, they're not flaming hot. But there's a kick there. Like you said, like I keep saying in a million times, if you don't like your spice or you're not a massive chilli head, you'll think these are really hot. But... To me, they're not, but I'll knock a point off, I think, because they said flaming hot. But there is a kick there. There is a little burn there, all in my mouth. But again, they're not flaming hot to me, but they're very, very nice. I've got to give these, what, I mean, the price, they're under a quid as well. I can't remember where I got them from. Got them from. I'm sure I got them from Heaven Food. I can't remember, but anyway, these are really nice. 9.6, I'll give these. Yeah, very nice. Lentil, lentil chips, flaming hot. Yeah, they're nice. Right. I'm do, I got. I went to Aldi. Hold on a second. Cleanse my palate. Cheers. Yeah, I like them. Um. Yeah, if you want to diet or something like that, which I, I, I should, I need to lose a couple of stone, really, because <laughs> I'm nearly 17 stone, so, <clears throat> but I'm six foot odd, so, but anyway, you're still, you're still sort of, you clinically obese, aren't you? <laughs> I was watching, I changed your subject, I was watching the El an Elvis documentary, how, how his last hours of how he died, and, um, he obviously was on his, 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 all these medication stuff and all that and his heart and all everything was all double the size. Um, but he was five foot eleven and he was fifteen and a half stone. And the bloke on that TV said he's he's classed as obese. I mean <laughs> I'm like six foot and I'm seventeen stone. So I'm fifteen and a half six, a stone stone and a half heavier than Elvis when he died. But like I said, he had loads of Drugs. He was on uppers, downers. He get the wrong stuff. He ate all these peanut butter and jam and all. And he had, he had a chef, a, um, a black lady, a chef, and he used to call him and say, "Can I have a peanut butter and jam and toasty, whatever it was." But yeah, um, yeah, he was four foot eleven, fifteen and a half stone, and the doctor said he, he, he's classed as obese. And I'm like, well, so what am I then? <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyway. Yeah, I thought he'd tell you that. <laughs> anyway, Elvis, God bless him. I got these, look, Romeo. These are like bounty bars. These these were in Aldi. Um, 
And again, on, on, on some of my previous videos, I said that I didn't like coconut, but I do. Because I had a, um, a Thai curry pot noodle and a bounty bar, and they were lovely. So I do like um, coconut. But these, these are like... These are like bounties, but obviously an Audi sort of version of them. See, they, they do look a bit like the bounty bars, don't they? If, in the UK, you know what the bounties are, so I can't get it open. I don't want to ruin it because I want to get a thumbnail. Excuse me. There you go. Open it carefully, Lee, and don't rip it all over, all over the place. There you are, look. Oh, they're, they're individu individually wrapped. So there you are. There's two in. <coughs> Excuse me. That quiz went down the wrong hole. Where did that phrase come down the wrong hole? It only goes down one hole, doesn't it? Why does it went down the wrong hole? Look, you've got ten holes that you swallow food with. You don't, do you? <laughs> Romeo. Yeah, like bounty bars. I bet they just look like. Look, yeah. They, they look just like them as well. These were 99 pence for... Um, you get four times two. That's eight. I can do that. You can do that math. Maths. Put that back there. There you go. Right. Anyway. I'll only have one. <laughs> so... It'd be interesting to see what, because I've, I've had a bounty literally, uh, I don't know, a month ago when I did the review. So I know what the bounties taste like and they were really, really nice. So, right. Romeo. Um, Romeo coconut filling <laughs> from Aldi. Cheers. <laughs> uh, I remember saying, sorry, that the chocolate bounty bars were lovely. The chocolate, I mean, outside the chocolate was lovely. So is this. I can't see no difference between them or bounty bars. I really can't. God, they're lovely. Mmm. Yeah, there's no difference. The coconut's nice and crunchy. There you go, look. Nice and crunchy coconut. <clears throat> and the coconut's not too sweet. Mmm. We'll have to do a comparison with a real bounty bar. Because I can't, I can't taste no difference. Mmm. God, they're lovely. <laughs> There's coconut there. Mmm. Yeah, they're just like the, the, um... Sorry. Cadbury's Bounty Bar. Right. Oh, here we go, look. Milk chocolate with a sweet coconut filling. <clears throat> Nearly said Philip then. Mum be doing name by the way, Philip. <laughs> I'm glad I was called Lee and not Philip. Don't like Philip. Don't like the name Philip. There you are. Yeah, milk chocolate with a sweet coconut filling. Coconut filling. Coconut, obviously. Um, salt. Flavouring. Sugar. Cocoa butter. Milk. Um... Vanilla, vanilla extract, yeah. Milk chocolate contains cocoa solid, minimum milk so yeah. Yeah, they're lovely then. I don't think there's, I don't think there's no difference to um, a bounty bar. Is it Cadbury's who do bounties? Or is it the other, the other, what's the other, Nestle? Nestle or something. But I will get a bounty bar and I'll see what the difference is. But I can't, sorry, wrong way around. I can't, um, 
tastes no different. Because I looked, at, I, only, I only had a bounty bar about a month ago or something, and it was really nice. And so is this. So so is this. So anyway, rate him for this. It was ninety nine pence for eight little sort of segments, and you get two in a pack. And for that price, that's brilliant. Ninety nine p. Um, yeah, the chocolate's nice. The coconut's nice and crunchy, not too sweet. The price ninety nine pence is brilliant. Or that might, might be one pound twenty. I'm not sure, but anyway, they're nice. Um, I'll give them a nine point two. But what I'll do is I'll do I'll do I'll do a bounty comparison and see if there's any difference. But I can't taste no difference to a bounty bar to this. But these are nine point two. So anyway, right. I love you, leave you now. So I need to sort of get get some more stuff for reviewing. I've got I've got some drinks. Um, I ain't got no crisps. I've got nothing like that. I've got oh, I've got a couple of I've got a carbon. I did add a cup. Excuse me. I bought a carbonara, and there's I think I've got a curry in the freezer, and a few other things. So excuse me. But anyway, cheers, everyone. Happy Sunday. I hope you're all all right. I'm going to chill out now, relax, and have a few beers and have my dinner later. And um, yeah, so and I'm, glad, I'm glad you liked the video of me and the kids yesterday. They loved it, bless them. I love doing the videos with me, and I love doing it with them, bless them. They, they, they love it. We've got some, oh, I ordered some new tackies, some sticks, tackies sticks or something, and some other tomato flavour. So we'll do them next week. But yeah, they loved it, bless them. So anyway, well, I'm going now because it's 16 minutes long. So anyway. Phoebe and Archie, my whole world, yours are, darling, yours will be. It's as simple as that. And I love you to bits. And I'm your dad, I'm your father. You know that anyway, don't you, darling? So, and I'll see you next weekend. Next Saturday, darlings. And I'll get paid, so I'll, I'll get you a nice treat. Because, long story short, I've got these air up bottles from, from eBay. And they don't work, they're crap, so I've got a refund. So, they can they can um, get some with their money that they got. Um, for them when I've got a refund and I'll put some more towards it so they can have a present so there you are so anyway I leave you to be started and I'll see you next Saturday 10 o'clock so there you go I leave you to be darlings, and I'll see you next week so anyway hope you're all okay and have a good Sunday and stay safe okay so take care all the best I love you all and I'll catch you soon cheers <laughs>